Hey guys, so today is going to be a bit different video. So sometimes I like to go to cons as an artist and sit in the artist alleys. So this is a whole new series on my channel that where I will show you how to make some different things for a craft fair or an artist alley as I'm going to. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can create some mystery gift bags or a lucky bag as some people call it. So this is basically a way to sell some of your artwork that you have had a bit of trouble selling at your last conventions or crafts fair. So I'm just going to show you what you can do and how to package it, package it up. So my usually contains two things and mine contains either a... It contains two things. So a charm or magnets or necklaces and bubbles. It's also what it says right here on the front. Just so people can get an idea of what there will be inside of them. So now just so what you'll need is a bag of some kind, preferably not see-through so people can peek in. I chose this one which says Gulyu, which means Merry Christmas in Danish. And it's not Christmas time right now, so I thought this would be perfect and also very cheap. You'll of course need some items and also some packaging for the items so they can be wrapped individually. If you have a business card, I also really recommend for you to put it in there just so people will get it when they open the bag. And I also used um, these cute post-its to decorate the front of my bag. You can get very creative with this and design your own, but I went the lazy route and just picked up some cute memo paper. You'll of course need some stickers or tape. This is actually optional, but I think it adds a cute touch to them and makes them look really pretty. So here I'm just going to wrap these two items that I'm going to put in one of the bags. So I'm going to use this cute packaging and for the background, I'm going to use this purple cardstock. So I'm just going to put this into my tiny little bag here, just so I have a background color. And this also suits uh, the cupcake charm because it's purple. And these are actually magnets. So I'm just going to add these into the bag and make them look really nice and cute and tidy. If I can do this on camera, probably not. We'll see. I'm not really used to talking to a camera, so it's actually kind of awkward for me. <laughs> so now I have them in a position that I think I like. So the great thing about these bags is that they are adhesive. So you can basically just peel off the backing and stick the, this side down. And now I've packaged my two magnets and I'm ready to put my two items into my mystery bag. So here I have my bag and I'm of course going to decorate it with my tag, which is this one. And I just said the price and it's a mystery bag and that it contains necklaces, charms, magnets and bottles, just so people will have an idea of what this actually is. So now I'm just going to grab my glue stick and I'm going to glue the front so I can attach my memo paper. Now I'm just going to add my tape. I really like washi tape because it's so inexpensive and it just adds a pop of color to almost everything. I just had to grab some scissors. I actually forgot it for this recording. But you just want to trim your tape. Now it's time to add your items. So here are the two items I'm going to include in, in my bag. I like to work with polymer clay, so this is a par charm, this is a cookie magnet, and this is a kawaii muffin magnet. So I'm just going to add these into my mystery bag and I'm of course also going to add my business card don't forget that okay 
This is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just going to close up my bag. I'm just going to have this one as a reference to how wide it should be. I think it's around there. Just going to crease it. And then I'm again going to take my washi tape. And there you go. A mystery bag for your crafts fair or artist alley or maybe even your shop. These are super fun to make and a great way to get rid of some of the stuff you couldn't sell earlier or if you have some stuff you really want to get rid of. Of course, make sure to make it a fair price so people will want to buy it. I'm, I know this may seem like a lot, but it is the same as $5, which is the normal price a person would pay for one of my charms. So I think it's very reasonable. And that's basically it for this tips and tricks for artist alley or craft page video. So if you want to learn more on packaging for your products for your online shop or craft fair or artist alley, I will have a link to a video right here. So you can just go and click on that and that will take you to the video where I go more in depth with how to package necklaces and cell phone straps and those kind of things. I usually don't do big things. I really enjoy to make small charms. That is what I think is the most enjoyable. So make sure to check it out. I think it will help you out a lot. And that's it for this video. Make sure to keep crafting. Bye.